Understand that before they got in the fire, they were the king's men. Do you understand that what got them there? They were captives. They were captives right along with David. They were held captive and they weren't in their own land. And so they really could have done anything what they wanted with them. But whenever Daniel took a stand and his three friends said, we're going to stand with you. We're going to fast through. We're not going to eat the king's meat. We're going to eat and drink water. We're not going to have those things. Their appearance was so much better. I, I, I'm pulling it from the scripture that says, after 10 days, they appeared better, fatter, and flesh, <laughs> and better, and younger, and younger, and you can read that, and younger. <laughs>
Jesus. See, we can tell them and you can talk about Jesus. it. I, I see I got about three other believers. Praise the Lord God. When I'm telling you, whenever God, I want my point of making a note of it is to let you know that sometimes we hear him, but we don't obey him. Yes. Come on, Pastor. And just because I'm the pastor, that don't mean I'm exempt. Oh, come on. Come on now. Because sometimes we hear him, but we want to not obey him. Come on. We do partially. And at times, I don't think I get my weapons for And then why do you think I'm talking to you right about that? <laughs> because I'm, when you're delivered, you can talk about it. Because that means that I didn't do partial obedience and still disobedience. Disobedience. You see, I, you did half of the thing. You did half of it. You're like, well, I did part, but it's still disobedience. If you're not doing it all the way God told you, yeah, yeah. you're disobedient. And if you're disobedient, you might as well repent. Lord, Daddy, I'm sorry. Alpha, please forgive me because I and help me to refocus. That when I say I'm gonna do something, I'm gonna do it all the way. I'm not gonna quit. I'm not gonna stop rolling the boat and say, you know what? Uh, no, I'm gonna I'm gonna travel the journey and do what God called for me to do. But I'm saying that because as you're about to fast through people of God, the Lord God will give you that 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 ability to continue to complete the task. He allows you to refocus. He allows you to, that your prayers will be on fast track during these 21 days. As I mentioned to you, the Lord God said, I'm giving you revelation. I'm also giving you timing and, and so that way you can understand what I've been speaking to you. My God, and I've said it many, many times, fasting does not move uh, God. It moves us to move with him. Yes. Right, amen. My Lord. So that means God is always on the move. The Lord God is always speaking to some of, some of us in some way or some fashion. But at times, because of the chaos yeah. of this world, we don't hear him like we need to hear him. But whenever you pull back from turn the plate over, all of a sudden you can hear the Lord. I don't know about you, but when I turn the plate over, I can hear everything. Because yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> my food's not calling me. <laughs> it's not calling me, and I know what it is, but what the Lord God is saying. I, I'm trying to get you, get your appetite ready and set and to be hungry for the Lord. To be hungry for him more so than your meal. To make him your daily bread. Yeah. To make sure that while you're fasting through, that you know what, that you're able to wash your face and just give God glory. Be celebrating, you know, thank your Lord God. When somebody, that, you know what, don't say, don't say, I'm on a, I'm on a fast. That you can be so excited and say, thank you, Lord God. And they'll tell me, why? Because I know God's about to give me some answers yes. and some responses about to come through for me. Yes. And even on a faster pace than what I even anticipated. Yes. Thank you, Lord God. Yes. So see, that's what your fasting should be celebrated about. That's what your anxiety, your happiness, I should say, should be right there. Because, Lord God, I know that you're going to come through for me. As I'm about to close, you must understand, people of God, that fasting, whenever you fast through something, you actually hit a blow against the enemy. You're like, wait a minute. Oh, come on now. The scripture tells them that some, you know what, that they were trying to cast out a demon. Is that not right? In Matthew 17, they're trying to cast out a demon. And they said that the, the man said they couldn't do it. Your disciples couldn't do it. And so the Lord God, he rebuked them and then he cast the demon out. And the disciples went to the Lord God and said, why could we not do this? He said, but this kind comes out only but by fasting and praying. I'm believing that some of this, this kind will be coming out during these 21 days. I want you to know it tempted as much 
And the reason why I said as much is that the enemy will come, but you'll be able to discern that, that spirit right off the top. When they walk up to what you want. <laughs> You're like, wait a minute. You better look, look check it when it comes. You can see it from a mile off. Mm, it is. You're ready for it. See all before you let it get up in your face. But when you're fasting, the minute it was something, well, come feel on, something in my on. spirit. Yeah. That that thing that's your, that thing that you were battling is gonna try to it won't even have a chance to get to you. Because you're so discerning what you need, what you want. Nope. <laughs> nope. In the name of Jesus. Because I'm I'm thinking like, well, how did you I didn't even ask you that. I know you didn't. And that's how you know that the, that the Lord God's given you some understanding and some wisdom because you're picking up things spiritually before the thing even spoke. Yeah. Or oh, I'm saying the thing because those things that are going to be facing us, they're not the person, it's the spirit. Yes. Yes. It's a spirit that uses all kinds of shells. They come in all kinds of shapes and forms. Yes. It's a spirit. That same spirit that you dealt with before, you know that sucker Man, coming back around. Come on here. That same spirit, but whenever you want to discern, whenever you're fasting, and understand it, you can check it at the door. As they come, before you start walking up, before you start trying to formulate some what you need. Amen. Because the Lord God is saying, you know what? I, I, he's giving you that. During your 21 days, I'm believing for some prodigals to return. I'm believing for whatever was lost to be returned back unto you. Whatever that you've been believing God for, that Thank during God. these 21 days. Why? Because it is. You're like, well, Pastor, what are you trying to tell? Fasting also allows you, because you're sacrificing in one area. Yes. Lord, have mercy. Yes. Thank, oh, you, Lord. Yeah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord God. You are sacrificing. Yeah. And the Lord God says, I would not allow that to go unnoticed. Yeah. Woo, come on now, come on now. Y'all need to get, get that right there. Because you are going through some, you are consecrating yourself. You're setting yourself apart. You're making this temple for a temple for the Holy Ghost. The Lord God is saying, I'm not going to allow the enemy to put to tamper with or to harm you because you know what? I see your sacrifice. Thank you, I understand that you have given up something in order to hear from me, to get my responses, to make sure you get the answer. That I want to know some prayer. chapter number 10, the word of the Lord God spoke to Daniel because it said the moment that you started praying, I heard you. Somebody, the moment I don't, I'm believing God these first three days, or tell your neighbor three days. Three days. Three days. Tell your neighbor three days. Three days. You're like, wait a minute, Pastor, wait a minute. The first three days of this fast are crucial. Oh, I'm going to go on record and say it. The first three days of your fast are crucial. Because you should be laying out, presenting to God the thing, direct, doing some direct one-on-one. -on -one. Daddy, here we go. Lord. Lord God, this is what, these first three days, you should not uh, get a list, write it down, whatever. But make sure you present the first three days. You should be presenting those things, Lord God. This is what I'm believing you for. This is a, Lord God, I didn't get a response here. I've been looking for uh, These first three days are crucial. Because what you are presenting here in the first three days, it's almost like yeah, I'm cracking it open. This is where I am, Lord God. And what you're doing in these first three days, you're presenting. Amen. The Bible says that when Daniel first prayed, when he first opened his mouth on the 21-day fast, do you realize that the Lord God said, I heard you the first day that you came to? That's why when I, I was hoping that everybody on the very first day, you took it seriously. Yes, Lord. I hope you did. Because the bear, the Lord God said, whenever you open your mouth to it these first three days, the Lord God said, I'm already, I'm sitting the answers. Yes. yes. The scripture talks about it in Daniel. It says that the Lord spoke to Daniel and said, I heard you the first time that you prayed. As a matter of fact, he said, I've come because of your prayers. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Lord. There's some things that God's coming for, no other reason but because you prayed it. Ooh, thank you, Lord God. The Lord God said, I could have done anything else, but because you said, I've come to Daniel, he told you, I've come because of your prayers. How about that? That's, that should weigh heavy on you, that God loves you so much because he's taking time out of the universe to come hear your prayers. Yes. So that's why I'm saying these first three days, you know what? You should be less of this and more of this. 
Let I mean you, you call me look, I'm on a fat way to get at least let me let me break 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 bread first. The first three days, talking to the Lord. Lord God, this is what's going on. This is what's in my family. This is what's going on with my children. This is what's going on in me. This is what's going on in my community. This is what's going on in my nation. This is what's going on over here. This is what's going on. I've been watching the devil here. I've been uh, you the first three days you should be just listening and out, listening and out. Just just putting it out there. Mm. And then after those first three days, yeah. Lord God said, then you know what? Just begin to celebrate. Yes. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord God. That's where that's where the way to become. Thank you, Lord God. And Lord God, I want to thank you because Daniel encourages us. I'm closing, but Daniel encourages. He said, the first time you pray, I heard you. The Lord God said, I'm removing hindrances. Yes, yes. I want you to know yeah. that hindrances, that's when I said the Prince of Persia, that's a spirit. It's a principality. The Bible talks about it as Persia. you got to understand Daniel. It's a visionary. It's about dreams and visions. and It yeah. talks about certain things and prophecy. And when it says Persia, it means a, a hindrance. So if you've had a hindrance in your prayers before, go on a fast. You've been having a hindrance and getting the response, go on a fast. A hindrance, something blocking you from getting what you truly deserve, go on a fast. And if that's where you right there, but like I said, the prince of Persia was holding me up. But I had to read for, I had the angels, Michael, they come to the other Angels that came to assist me and wrestle that thing down. I want you to know that if the angels had to come and assist, that was a principality. Yes. That means that it's something bigger than you. I'm trying to preach to somebody. Come on, it's come. something bigger than you that's holding. You're thinking it's always me yeah. going through it. And always my kids. And always, it might be a bigger spirit than what you think it is. Come on. See, you're thinking it's just a little, you know, something I did. No, baby, that's bigger than you. This thing been here before you. Oh, my Lord. It was here before your grandparents got here. My God, because it's always, it, it, watch the cycle. It always occurs right about there. It always seems to happen right about there. And you're like, Lord God, I, I'm, I'm done with that. Mm. I, I, I want this thing to be over with. But you've always had the, the prayers go, keep, 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 keep falling back down. The Lord God said, because there was a spirit that was over that thing. You're thinking it's just you. I don't know, but I, when you're delivered, you can talk about it. I keep saying that because there are times that I prayed. I'm going not by myself and I, when I pray, I was like, Lord God, why does it keep happening to me? Why does it keep happening to my family? Yeah. Why, is, why are my family not like the Brady Bunch? Why, 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 why I can't be like, you know, just, just everybody happy go lucky? Why, why, why has it always got to, why is it always in the turmoil? Why is it always a struggle? Why is it always a fight? Every time, every time things go well, get ready. And I was like, Lord God, what is this thing? And the Lord God is saying, daughter, you must understand. Come this thing is bigger than you. Come on. It's a principality. Sometimes they set themselves in regions over families. All right now. Over neighborhoods, mm -hmm. over communities, Jesus. in order to stop the advancement. Yeah. You haven't read. You Jesus. take a look around your area. Jesus. Take a look around your family. Why is it that, you know, no one seems to get beyond high school? Mm -hmm. Well, wait, 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 wait a minute. I'm believing for college degrees. Well, but everyone did. They just make it right there. It might be just that berry, that prince of Persia that sits right there. And the Lord God is saying, I'm giving that as an example. But understand, there might be some things you're like, why is it that no one's ever moved out of that neighborhood? Why is it that everyone, why we always, our bank account is always just right there. Why don't we ever have a savings or an investment? And you're like, I want to be the first. If you tell on that prince of Persia, you will be. Yes. You will be. You won't be sitting up there just trying to, you're like, yes, Lord. You'll be like, I remember when I was praying. <laughs> and back in that 21-day fast, when I was like, Lord, God, I want enough where I can invest. I want enough where I can bless my seed. That way they don't have to work like I do. That means that we all can sit back and enjoy ourselves. Well, if we go on vacation, we can all go on vacation. Come on. The Lord God is saying, you know what? If it hasn't occurred for you, it might be something that may be a blocking it. It may be a spirit that's overriding it. But go on a 21-day fast. When you go on a 21-day fast, the Lord God says, I send reinforcements. If I 
Everybody needs to get that. Yeah. I know that's not in my nose, but yeah. the Holy Spirit said, your 21 days have actually released some guardian angels to assist in your delivery of your responses and of your answers. You better get that right there too, as well as yourself. Because the Lord God is saying, he's allowing, he's making sure that the angels are going to be assisting in this release for you. So that way you can get the answer. You can get the responses that the Lord God has already set in motion for you to get. And he just removed those barriers. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord God. Oh, better give God some praise. Thank you. I want you to understand, people of God, that fasting is so important. And the Lord God is saying, I'm praying with you today. And as we're going to open up this altar, just a special prayer. But this time, it's just a matter of teaching and letting you know about fasting. It's time to fast through. When, wherever you are right now, and if you feel like you cannot advance, the Lord God says, these 21 days are actually going to fast you through. Thank you, Lord. It's going to fast you through. The, it's fast you through the turmoil. Fast you through the trouble. Thank you. Fast you through the confusion. You, fast you through the strife. Fast you through even in your health, even in your body. Even in, it's going to fast you through. I don't know, but somebody needs to get that. Thank you. My Lord. Yes, yes Lord. Yes. Thank you, Lord. To fast you through this thing. You're like, Lord, God, Thank you, Lord. you didn't know where else to turn, what Thank else you. to do. The Lord God said, as you turn your plate you. over, as you sacrifice that meal, God says, I'm actually bringing some responses and some answers for you that, that's going to assist you. I've already told you, I've released my angels to undergird you as you go about. You're not going to have to go through this thing by yourself. God says, I will send my angels to assist you in what you've got to do, that you're not facing this battle all by yourself. You may be in the trenches, but you got help in the trenches because during these 21 days, some things are going to be released. I believe in God. I'm going to ask you to stand on your feet in the name of Jesus. And I'm going to open up this altar. And if you believe in God for these 21 days, I need for you to stand on your feet and believe God that you're know you saying, Lord God, within these 21 days, within these 21 days, I'm believing for my answer. This is day two. I'm gonna make, I may not have made my petition in the first day, but I'm going to get it in today. I mean, it's not midnight. You still got day two. Get it in there in the name of Jesus. Because day three, that's all I'm going to say. Lord God, here it is. Lay the plan out. Begin to do that. If you believe in God, I need you on your feet in the name of Jesus. The Lord God is saying that you're about to fast through. And fathers, I'm going to pray with these individuals. As they're saying these 21 days, that they're believing for answers. 21 days, they're believing for responses. I need to pray. I need to definitely pray for you and give you give you this disclaimer. I got to give it to you. Be prepared for what you're about to hear. Be prepared for what, what's going to take place. Because when you start asking for answers and responses, they're not always wrapped up the way you want them to. I've got to be honest with you because if you're doing this 21 day fast and you're like, Lord God, the answers and the responses may not come pretty packaged like you think that they are. But you got to be ready for it. That's what this court. If you're not, if you're like, Lord, I, I'm not sure about that. When you take a seat, and don't stand in agreement. But I'm, I'm putting it out there for you now because if you're believing God for answers and responses, however God wants to present it and however he wants to do it, it may not be wrapped up like you think it should be. And if you're like, Lord God, I don't care how you got to give it to me. Just give it to me. Yes. Yes. Prepare me for it. If you're giving it to me, that means it's going to be all right because I put my trust in you. I need those believers with one hand up and every head bowed. If that's you, if you're saying, Lord God, I understand what the word that went forth. I understand that. And Lord God, I'm saying yes to it. I'm saying yes. I want the answers and the responses. I don't care how it's packaged. Lord, my so tell about how you That's it. If that's you, get that hand up. If that's you, because you're first and foremost, you should be encouraged because he would not put more on you than what you can bear. And he's a good, good father. So if he's telling you that, he's letting you know, why would it damage you? Come on. It's going to only help you in the long run. Yes, Lord. So amen. If that's you, get that hand up. 
with every head bowed and every eye closed. Father God, and even those that are watching, you can build yourself an altar. Father God, as I'm praying right now for those that have a hand extended up, and they're saying, Lord, that we're, I'm ready to fast through. These 21 days, I'm standing in agreement for answers and responses. Answers that may be written and responses that may be heard verbally. Lord God, that I'm ready for it. Father God, I thank you that right now, Lord God, that you're tearing down whatever hindrance that was blocking it. That, Lord God, that you're also going to send your godly angels to assist me in whatever I need assistance in. But, Lord God, as I stand with my hand extended up, I'm believing you during these 21 days that answers and responses are coming through for me. And, Lord God, as I'm praying for those that have a hand extended up and they're believing for it to be so, and we confirm it by saying amen. 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 Come on, give God some glory.